Hey there, friends. Are you ready for a blast from the past? Today, we're diving into the world of Blockbuster Video, the iconic video rental store that defined the 90s and early 2000s. You remember those days, right? Running to Blockbuster on a Friday night with your friends, searching for the perfect movie to rent and snacks to munch on? Good times. But as we all know, all good things must come to an end. Blockbuster Video eventually fell from grace and closed its doors for good. But why did this happen? And more importantly, what was the cultural impact of Blockbuster Video during its heyday? Well, my friends, that's exactly what we're going to explore in this video. We'll take a closer look at the rise and fall of Blockbuster Video and how it became such a significant part of popular culture. So buckle up, grab some popcorn, and let's dive in. Oh, and before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. Trust me, you won't want to miss what we have in store for you. Pan. Now let's talk about the rise of Blockbuster Video. It all started in 1985, when David Cook founded the company in Dallas, Texas. Cook had a vision to create a video rental store that was more organized and professional than the mom-and-pop shops that were popular at the time. And boy did he succeed. Blockbuster Video quickly became a household name, and for good reason. They revolutionized the rental industry by offering a wider selection of movies and TV shows than any other store at the time. Plus they made it easy for customers to find what they were looking for by organizing their shelves by genre and displaying the movie covers facing forward. But that's not all. Blockbuster Video also introduced the concept of a membership program, which offered perks like discounted rentals and the ability to reserve movies in advance. And let's not forget about the infamous late fees, which were a major source of income for the company. Despite the controversy surrounding their late fees, Blockbuster Video continued to grow in popularity throughout the 80s and 90s. By the late 90s, they had over 9,000 stores worldwide and were the go-to destination for movie rentals. So there you have it, folks. The story of how Blockbuster Video rose to fame and changed the way we consume movies and TV shows. And if you're feeling nostalgic for the good old days of renting VHS tapes and DVDs, just know that there are still a handful of Blockbuster Video stores in operation today. Now, isn't that a fun fact? Ah, uh, Blockbuster Video, the memories. Who else remembers the excitement of browsing the aisles, trying to decide which movie to take home for the weekend? Blockbuster was more than just a video rental store. It was a cultural phenomenon that had a massive impact on popular culture during its heyday. Blockbuster not only changed the way we watched movies and TV shows, but it also changed the way we interacted with media. It was the first time that people could rent movies and watch them in the comfort of their own homes. No more waiting for movies to come on TV or going to the theater. And let's not forget about the social aspect of Blockbuster. It was a place where people could come together and share their love of movies. It was a hub for movie enthusiasts and casual viewers alike. Plus, who doesn't remember the feeling of satisfaction when you finally found the movie you've been searching for? Blockbuster wasn't just a video rental store. It was a symbol of the 90s and early 2000s. It was a place where people could go to escape from the stresses of everyday life and immerse themselves in a world of entertainment. And let's not forget about the iconic blue and yellow signage. Speaking of pop culture references, who remembers that Seinfeld episode where Jerry and Kramer go to rent a movie? Classic. Blockbuster truly was a part of our cultural landscape, and its impact will be felt for generations to come. So, next time you're scrolling through Netflix, take a moment to appreciate the impact that Blockbuster Video had on our lives. It truly was a cultural phenomenon that will never be forgotten. Can you believe that there was a time when you had to go to a physical store to rent a movie? Crazy, right? Well, that was the reality until the mid-2000s when streaming services started to take over. Blockbuster Video, once the king of movie rentals, struggled to keep up with the times. It's not that they didn't see it coming. In fact, Blockbuster had the chance to purchase Netflix for a mere $50 million back in 2000. But they passed on the opportunity, thinking that streaming was just a fad. Boy, were they wrong! The rise of streaming services wasn't the only factor that led to Blockbuster's downfall. They also failed to adapt to changing technology. The company continued to rely on their brick-and-mortar stores, while other companies were experimenting with digital downloads and on-demand services. It didn't help that Blockbuster's business model was outdated. They charged late fees which turned customers away, and their selection was limited compared to newer companies like Netflix. Blockbuster tried to compete by introducing their own streaming service, but it was too little. Too late. They had already lost too much ground to their competitors. In 2010, Blockbuster filed for bankruptcy and began closing stores. By 2013, 
the last remaining blockbuster video in the United States closed its doors for good. It's a sad end for a company that was once a staple of American culture. Fun fact, at its peak, Blockbuster had over 9,000 stores worldwide. Now there are none left. And the company accumulated over $1 billion in debt before filing for bankruptcy. It's a cautionary tale of what can happen when you fail to adapt to changing times. The fall of Blockbuster Video is a reminder that no company is invincible. T wow what a ride. We've journeyed through the rise and fall of Blockbuster Video, a cultural icon that changed the way we consume media forever. From its humble beginnings in Texas to its dominance in the video rental market, Blockbuster was a true force to be reckoned with. But as we've seen, even the mightiest can fall. The rise of streaming services like Netflix and Hulu sounded the death knell for Blockbuster, and the once proud company was forced to file for bankruptcy in 2010. However, despite its demise, Blockbuster's impact on popular culture will never be forgotten. It was a place where friends and family could come together to browse the shelves, debate which movie to rent, and share in the joy of a good film. And that's why we should always celebrate Blockbuster's legacy. So, I encourage you to share your own memories of Blockbuster video or your favorite movies and TV shows from that era. Let's keep the spirit of Blockbuster alive and well for generations to come. Thank you for joining me on this journey and I'll see you in the next video.